What's up guys, Rapscallion here, coming at you with another Halo Infinite video. It's been, what, about uh, literally a year since I've made a video. Hope you guys have been well. So, last year we looked at the reveal of Halo Infinite at last year's E3. Wasn't the best or most hype reveal, but it certainly was a reveal. But we're back again this year, and I wanted to take another look here at the Halo Infinite multiplayer trailer reveal. But we're going to take things slow and watch it at 0.25 speed to see if there's anything that we might have missed uh, the first time we watched it on the stream earlier today. So, today we are actually also joined with THE Pat Man Gaming. You want to say what's up, man? Yo, yo, everybody. What is going on? Halo hype is real right now. Yes, sir. So... So Pat has actually already made a video uh, very similar to this, just looking at this in slow-mo, so definitely be sure to go check that out if you have not done so already. But without further ado, and not wasting too much of your time, let's go ahead and jump into this. So first off, you can see here I have the, the closed captions on, and you can see Commander Lauret, who is supposed to be like training you in the multiplayer, right? Yeah. With like the, the bot I mode. Pause it, like if you if you see right there where you could stop on commander Laura a little bit at like four about four seconds mm -hmm. you can see she's got a i just actually noticed this she's got a bionic leg do you see that or she's her walking? left leg is bionic Hold on, let me turn close caption off is it like her foot her whole freaking leg right there that is a bionic leg on on her left oh leg. yeah on the that left one leg. yeah yeah yep. yeah you can see the the joint and everything there huh yeah i definitely did not notice that good catch okay thank well you, there thank you. there's one a brand new one sick all right off to a so, good start another thing here this is interesting like seeing the the spartans in like their i guess like their marine uniforms mm -hmm. so i I highly doubt it, but do you think like maybe like we'll have like Mass Effect or like Skyrim like actually be able to to do like the details of your Spartans like physical appearance as opposed to their armor? Dude, that never even crossed my mind, but that would be absolutely awesome. Yeah, I doubt um, it, but like, yeah, that would same. be that would be interesting. Yeah, like even maybe like a barracks mode where you're walking around maybe with your helmet off and you know you could show your yeah your, like. You know that'd, that'd be, be uh, that'd be cool. so weird and such a risky thing to do, but I don't I don't it know. It would be interesting idea. I'd welcome it though. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, the ODSTs do it all the time, so exactly. All right, so moving on. Next generation built to fight. Today mm -hmm. we have the nice the Commando, Commando. VK seventy eight. Yeah, it looks like it has Need some sort direction. of armor coating there. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, Needler making its return. It looks like it's this Halo is gonna be badass. Typically, like the Halos where you can't dual wield, the Needler is actually okay. really freaking good. <laughs> yeah. So here's another thing. I'm I'm pausing it at uh at 12 seconds here. So one thing that actually uh, just occurred to me too. So it, with all the vehicles that we saw in this, they're all banished. So, mm -hmm. but we also know that there's gonna be uh, skins not only for the Spartans but also for the vehicles. So I wonder if like you'll be able to get like the right. Halo Three styles uh of like these all metallic looking yeah yeah as opposed yeah, to like the cool. banished kind of style yeah all right come on youtube go you, th you think that's a weak spot underneath the seat there to shoot yeah i mean could that be glowing part yeah. yeah yeah i mean you're already like super exposed back there i mean if you ever want to kill somebody on a chopper just wait for them to turn around mm -hmm. a little, little cheat code for you so uh, I'm at 13 seconds here, so we can, of course, see down there in the bottom left-hand side the Rocket Hog making its return. Got a Banished Ghost and, of course, the Wasp here. And this map here mm -hmm. looks like... This looks straight up like Valhalla. Like, I met, I think this is like a remix or like a reimagining of Valhalla. Yeah, definitely can see that. Oh, this is a good shot Commander coming Lorette. up here right there. All right, let's see. Ooh, we'll, those Spartans right there. Yeah. Dude, look at the okay, sparks. Look at that. that looks so good. Yeah, the particle effects are really are really impressive. Um, that Spartan, the yellow Spartan there in the forefront. Another has bionic, a leg. bionic leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that will be a new customization option for characters in Infinite, which yeah, is cool. That's cool. And of yeah. Of course, the bionic arm. 
Yeah, no, you had the the robot arm uh, that Cat had in Reach. Yep. Very cool. I like it. I like how the the leg looks all muddy and everything too. Yeah. Got the Needler here again. And the Bulldog. Boop! Get out! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's dope. I love the way the sniper looks in this game too. Alright, so here's another thing here yeah. too. And this is, I think, going to be very controversial, is the fact that it looks like red versus blue is no longer a thing. Like, it's basically, right. like, you just have... You can see, like, all of your Spartans' customizations, um, but if you're playing, like, you know, of course, like Slayer or something like that with, with other enemy players, it's just going to have a red outline around them as opposed to, like, different teams having solid... Uh, solid colors. Solid colors, yeah. Which yeah. to me, I think that's cool. I, I'm I'm all for that because that was one of the things. Same. Like, because you spend all this time, like, you know, it just so happens like my Spartans colors are always blue. So it, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm on blue team, hey, everything's good. But if I'm on red team, like, it just throws everything off. So like being right. able to see everybody's customizations like that, I'm I'm all for it personally. Same. I know. Same. I'm I'm all for more customization for the player. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, definitely. I but I can see like, oh, red versus blue. How are they going to continue yeah. the show? Uh... Yeah, I. I mean, I'm, they'll have red and blue armor coatings for them to do the show. You know, yeah. like there'll be plenty of options for that. Now, something really interesting, um, and I only know this because I know, like you said, Raps was busy today. He had to work, so I got to read up on these blog posts. Something that's extremely cool that takes the customization to a whole nother level that they covered in the blog post. So instead of just a red outline, you you are going to be able to customize the outline of what you know whatever you want in your customization options. So if you want that outline to be green for whatever reason, maybe you're colorblind and you can't see certain colors, you get to choose what color you want enemy outlines to be. And that will also we'll talk about it later in the trailer when we talk about capturing the flag. That will also reflect in capture the flag. So if I choose my enemy Spartans to have a blue outline when I'm in their base capturing their flag their flag is going to be blue or yeah, that's cool. if i choose green it's going to be green i think that's a really cool feature to that's, just take customization to another level that's going to make call outs confusing as hell but yeah uh, <laughs> but you should know i mean there's only two teams now multi-team that could get obviously really yeah like weird so i they would have to figure that out but if we're just talking two teams yeah we should be good there yeah i i, I like that that you know you had the different customizations options like that i mean a lot of games nowadays are doing that for different people with different uh, kind of you know physical ailments or whatever, whether it's you know visual or or hearing. Yeah, which ability options? Ghost, if you're watching this, uh, they have visual aids, so hopefully they'll, they'll have hopefully some audio aids. Too, audio yeah. aids, yeah. All right, so I'm at 20 seconds, so uh, let's go ahead and move on here. Oh, and also this is we saw some screenshots earlier in the year uh, of this map here, so now we're finally get to see that in action. Okay, so here's another thing here too. So I, I did I got to skim over the 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 blog post, and one of the things that they mentioned is that uh, you can pick up weapons in ah uh, oh, damn what was the word was it racks? You can pick up weapons in racks. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you think about that? Like the weapons being like on the walls like this instead of like out in the open like in traditional Halo games. Um, I, I it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't bother me either way. Honestly, I, I don't see it as a uh anything that's like you know too game yeah. changing if you ask me you know yeah i mean i'll, I'll give it a chance and i mean if yeah. worst case if there isn't a big enough backlash i mean you can always they can always go back and change it in forge and that's one of the cool things yeah, about slip spaces they can just change things that they, yeah exactly yeah anyway i don't know i thought that was kind of like a, a head turner like huh yeah they're in racks now all right yeah so there you can see the red outline there oh i, I also love the way that the ads works in this now like it's more like traditional like just it just whoop, straight up zooms in and then also yeah. right there you can see that uh, i'm assuming it's it's either a, a type of grenade or it's an equipment that you can throw in a wall it, and it yeah, shows like a, a for sure yeah and you can see uh, it's, it's pretty much like just a localized uh, promethean vision from halo 4 you can see the right there at the barrel of the gun you can see the spartan there behind the wall mm-hmm And there we go. All right. Oh, and then right there too, you can see the blue outline of the weapon he just picked up. So I guess it'll it'll give you like a blue outline of you know, whatever weapon is supposed to spawn there if it's not there already. 
Frag grenade. Yep, so nuclear bombs from Reach are making a return. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> and that equipment is actually called the threat sen the threat sensor. It's got an official name and uh, when okay. we get to the uh there's actually two new pieces of equipment in this trailer. We'll get to the other one in a little bit and I got the name pulled up here. Okay. Yep, and speaking of equipment right here on the screen, you can see the grapple hook is right there. So I don't know if this is like a like a spawning area or if like a, a Spartan died and this is just on the map where he died and it was there. Mm -hmm. Not 100% sure, but yep, there's the grapple hook right there on the floor. Sniper looks so good. Yeah, I love the way the sniper looks in this. Yeah, it... Right here. Here we go, here we go. Boom! I love that it's no scope instead of right. snapshot. No scope. Yeah. The first time I heard snapshot, I was like, what the hell is that? Smile. So this is pretty cool here. So this weapon right here, you can see he shoots it horizontally. He has to hold the trigger and then he shoots it horizontally. And it looks like it goes into like an alternate firing mode. So maybe like he does like an ADS or something. And then now, now it's shooting vertically. Mm -hmm. it reminds me a lot of that gun from, from Dead Space where they had like alternate firing yeah. modes. Bank shot. There's another Wait. new metal for you. Rocket. And maybe confirmation of Prometheans or something. That's definitely not human or Covenant. So yeah. it's either Promethean or Forerunner, I would say. Yeah. And the way that the Spartan disintegrated whenever he gets shot too, I think I think that would exactly, yeah. indicate that it's that it's a Promethean weapon. Rocket launcher. So this is cool. So another thing right here. Come on, pause. You can see on, you know, of course we have the gravity hammer here and then also on the, the player's wrist right there, or on his forearm rather, you can see he's got uh, another equipment, which we'll see come into play here in just a second. Oh, so that animation looks really cool too. I wonder if it like... I think it would change, yeah, depending on like if you're above them or right in front of them, I think that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. So, all right. Look at those hexagons. I love the way the hexagon looks right here and like the the depth of field or like the, the blur there. Like, I don't know. That, mm -hmm. I, I love the way that looks. So you can see the, the Spartan up there on the bridge had a, a fired up or a charged up plasma pistol, shot it at the player, and then he uses the equipment on his forearm and just swats it right back at the player. But my internet is... This should be a metal, dude. Like, that should be a like reverse noob combo oh, or something yeah, like yeah. that. That's awesome. Now that um that piece of equipment is called the repulsor. Repulsor. Um, okay. Yes. Can be used to deflect projectiles and anything else that gets in the way. I wonder it, does it do it automatically or do you have to activate it? I would imagine um with a, yeah, you would have to activate it. So you got to be the quick. The equipment will be bound to a button. Yeah, you have to be very quick. So somebody shooting a rocket at you like and we'll talk about this a little bit at the end if you want to do some thoughts about things because I've talked to you about this before, but I, I have some thoughts about the equipment that I actually like what they're doing with Infinite with the equipment that I didn't like how they were done in Halo 3. So we'll All right. get to that. So, yeah, and of course here we have the, the battle rifle in action. Mm -hmm. what, do, what do you think about the battle rifle? You like it? I, I love the look of it. Uh, the scope is a little bit big. I've always kind of felt that way ever since we saw the, it originally in that one trailer. Um, but it definitely has Halo 2 vibes, yep. uh, if you ask me. Uh, just just a little bit big on the scope, but that's just nitpicking uh, yep. for me. Yeah, maybe you know you can do like skins or something to maybe change the way that looks. But yeah, I mean, overall, yeah. I, I like the way it looks. Definitely a lot of Halo 2 vibes. Uh, so also, of course, we can see the drop wall there in action uh, with, as mm -hmm. the Spartan shoots those little... The squares, uh, it, over time, it'll actually deplete, and then you can actually shoot the player that's standing behind it. Uh, I got another player using the grapple hook there, and then what I thought was really cool, you can see right here, Avery J. Johnson Academy of Military Science. That's a yeah, nod that's to, cool. to our boy uh, Sergeant Johnson there. All right, so let's, let's see. So giant plasma grenades. <laughs> Looks down at it. So, okay, so what is this right here? Because, you know, of course, the... Hold on, let me back it up real quick. My internet is like, ugh, 4K video! So, the player dies here. 
And, all right, so you can see there's the AR, but then he also drops something as well, like on the far oh, left of, of the screen. Yeah, some sort of equipment right there. I wonder what that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It almost looks like the drop shield, like that. It the drop shield is a big piece of like, yeah metal like that. Mm, okay, so this right here, I still don't fully understand what this is. Okay, so Lumo, Lumo, mm -hmm. hello. So it, in the blog post, like it, it mentions that there are customizable AI that will help right. you like capture objectives and capture everything. Objectives, yeah. But. I don't know. I don't fully understand what that what that means. Uh, so, but maybe, I, surely they'll they'll let us know more tomorrow, or I guess today, whenever you guys are watching this, they'll surely have uh, gave us some more details on what exactly these AI do. Mm -hmm. Very um, interesting choice. Yeah, yeah. I'm very I curious as to what the heck that, that means. Yeah. All right, so we changed players here as he jumped through. Mongoose just getting absolutely destroyed. Yeah, All right, so this right here. Look at that ragdoll it, effect. Yeah, so he picks up the skewer. The skewer, yeah. What a cool Which name. Is a badass gun. Yeah, <laughs> this this thing looks so fun. Boom! Look just, at the warthog destruction. Look at the hood go flying off. Like that is awesome. Yeah, just warthog completely destroyed. So that was uh, I seen. I, I remember they did. They made a blog post a while back that apparently with the skewer you can actually fire that at Spartans, and if they're close yep. enough to like walls, it'll actually stick them to the wall. Like it'll basically impale them. And they're just yes. stuck there. Like that is so sick. That's awesome. We got the the grapple shot in action, man. It's like everything I've seen so far just looks it looks so fun. Like I cannot wait to try out the beta or the, the flight later on. Grapple Jack. <laughs> what a cool shot. Email announced here. I think another good thing to mention here is Big team is now 12 on 12, not 8 on 8 anymore, yep. so um, that's pretty cool. Yep, so with, with 12v12, you know, you would probably going to have bigger maps as well, which, mm -hmm. I don't know, I mean, with 12v12, that could be actually really fun. All right, so we got the Scorpion tank here with a, with a new look. You can see it actually has the Scorpion insignia there on the side and everything. So when I when I watch this in like full speed, uh, the Spartan right here that's on the turret, like I, I I was like, wait a sec, was that was that like a marine AI in the turret there? But you can it looks like there's like a Spartan, uh, almost looks like George's shoulder or something there. You can see, yep. yeah. So, but I don't know. It's for like a split second, I thought that was a marine. I was like, oh no way, dude. Hmm. AI and BTB. Wasp just getting absolutely destroyed. Look at the ghost. Yeah, look at the wing. Taking pieces. Yeah, coming off. That's so cool. The Ravager. Mm hmm. So, okay, so right here, the rocket, like, I swear, it looks like the rocket, like, curves whenever it goes. Yeah, slightly. I don't know. It's kind of... It's they, hard to tell because you're so close, but yeah, it does yeah. look like a, a little bit of a curve. Yeah, so... Hmm. Rocket launcher. All right, so here. Okay, so this right here, this is this is interesting here as well because we know the last time that ordnance drops were in Halo multiplayer was in Halo 4, and they function a lot like, uh, like Call of Duty with kill streaks. So... Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people's hearts dropped when uh, when they they saw this here, but but uh, you you told me earlier that uh, Unishek gave us some more insight on this on Twitter, correct? Yes, he basically just said, "Don't worry about it. If you're thinking that it's a kill streak, it is not. This is just for the way for the vehicles to be implemented into the map uh, when it's time for them to come in. So basically, just a fancier animation to make it a little bit more." Uh, Cinematic, know, just a little bit more fancy, yeah, and yeah. cinematic. 
Oof, the this this just skewer just, just looks God. so OP. It looks so fun. The one criticism, the one criticism I have, dude, is like, uh, and I'm sure they might tone it down. The, the shield popping effect is like blindingly bright. Yeah. Especially when you're watching it at this slow of an effect, it is like, it's almost distracting. Yeah. Yeah, which, I mean, of course, they've been bright as well in, in uh, previous Halos, but yeah, definitely. And it, and it looks like it's just comp like one solid color as well. Solid color instead of like, yeah, like static almost in yeah. the other games, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so right here we have the, the Pulse Carbine coming back into action. And one thing I just noticed here as well, so you see where this, uh, this rocket coming from the top right down to the bottom left where it exploded? Mm -hmm. You see that the shock wave there, how it's kind of like wave, warping yeah, everything? Dope. I I, yeah. I never noticed that till just right now. Actually, that's that's pretty cool. And then way off in the distance there, you can see the sword just chilling yeah, back yeah, there. Sword, yeah. Yeah, they're like shining a flashlight in your eye with yeah, freaking just like bing, flash bang. The skewer is humongous. It's like it's, yeah, it's, it's like bigger it's than a rocket like launcher. A rocket. Yeah, yeah. I I like this shot, man. I think that's cool showing like from inside the yeah. banshee how the house i was wondering like how like how they get that shot <sighs> right theater mode maybe some advanced theater mode stuff bro ah oh, looks so good man oh yeah okay so here we have the new version of the flag here it almost looks like it's either it's like super shiny or it's like a holographic or like a hologram of a of a flag almost really you see the, yeah, the I think it's a hologram like the flag itself the banner is definitely holog holographic yeah and we have the the cobra thing there as well and the, a skull with the shining eyes and the, mm -hmm. the last like that we saw the animal thing in, in Halo 4 as well so that's interesting to see that come back yeah hopefully they don't bring the scoring system from Halo 4 piece back piece of equipment dropped there too yep And sprinting with the flag. Yeah, and you can see there on his belt, it looks like he actually picked up that, that equipment there. Yep. Yep, looks like the flagdom is no more. So hopefully you can still juggle yeah, it if you want yeah. to. I love that line too. Please haul I mean, ass what is, what at is, your earliest convenience. <laughs> I mean, what is the point of juggling at this point if you could freaking sprint with it, you know? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I just, I love flag juggling, especially Halo 5, man. Flag juggling was so fun. Yeah. But that is a good point. If you can sprint, why not? So also here you yeah. can see the, the destruction on the Warthog here again, just the hood getting ripped off, and you can see the, the engine and the, the inner workings of the Warthog there. That's really cool. Because I know we also nice saw in the, in the Infinite uh, campaign reveal that you, know, you can actually pop tires and blow tires off and everything. Yep. Now pay attention to this Warhog too. I, I believe later the, the back end of it also gets messed up, which is pretty cool. And like the trunk flies off. And the gas can I think you could shoot the gas to see how the gas canisters are now oh, missing yeah. like that but that piece, you know? Wow. Just dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> All out chaos. What a, what a cool shot right there. Like, you want to play mm -hmm. Halo and have some fun? Here you go. Yeah, I always think it's over right here. And then, nope. Oh, no, no, There's no, no. more. So oh, this, the dude, eyeball. the skull looks so sick. So I wonder if, like, no, what he's doing right here, like, looking at the skull, I wonder if that's, like, an emote or something that you, that you can do. Right, yeah, I was wondering the same thing, or if that's, like, the animation, when you pick it up, like, is that what your Spartan do, does when it picks it up? Or yeah. even... Or even, like, if you um, go AFK for a bit, like, he'll yeah, sometimes yeah. look at weapons or whatever? Yeah, definitely. What okay. about, um, maybe being able to customize the effect on the skull oh. as part of your customization? That'd, that'd be cool. That'd yeah. be pretty cool, right? Yeah, because you got the, the blue flames here, and then... Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, maybe what? if you get this term battle pass here you get like you know different colored flames and stuff i think that'd be cool yeah that'd be really cool or imagine like having like different species skulls like having like an elite skull oh, dude, the elite skull oh my yeah, god that'd be sick give me it uh so also of course here we have the master chief graffiti here so 
Uh, of course, not confirmed or anything, but that seems to possibly imply that maybe we can do like graffiti tags or something like that in the game. Uh-huh. Which, uh, I mean, I don't know, whatever. I don't, I don't I'd really go either way, really. Yep. And then, wow! Dude, that. This is the best. Dude. <laughs> God. A solid <laughs> 20 feet that man just flew Dude, away. Annihilated. Look at the way, like... Oh, that's all... probably my favorite part of the whole trailer, man. Just watching that Spartan ragdoll that oh, no, we, we, far. We gotta watch that one more time. Wait, one more time. Wait, wait. Blah! <laughs> All right, so yeah, Spartan's got equipment on his hip there. Wait, does he have um, multiple? Bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because he just threw it, but there's still an equipment still on but his hip there. still there. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Is that an ODST? The pink Spartan I was here? just going to say that. I'm like, is that an ODST helmet? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this map also, too, I'm getting, like, really, really, uh, I guess a lot CSGO of, like, outskirts. Or I was going to say outskirts from Halo 2. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm getting like CSGO vibes, dude, like hardcore, especially from that first shot where chi- where the chief graffiti was. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye. The particle effects, man, are so yeah. good. Yeah, and the, like the depth of field effects and everything. So, okay, so where yeah. the hell? All right, so of course we, we're seeing him use the uh, the grapple shot here to grab the uh, the now dubbed noob cube, uh, aka f- a, a fusion coil, to uh, wreck this this mongoose player right here so but I, like when i was watching this is like where the hell did that cube come from like it's literally just like floating in midair there or like where did it come from so also here is what that is? A, is that a gun goose that is a gun goose there are, are that is definitely gun goose yeah. there are two barrels and a bullet flying right at us cool bro what if you could what if i'm standing on the other side of that cliff and I can pick up a fusion coil and chuck it to you, and you grapple it towards you. Like, dude, I got, I got a mongoose coming. At me. I'm like, yo, I got a fusion coil near me. Oh, let me grab it. Oh yeah, then snatch it in midair. You. you snatch it and freaking. Oh man, the oh, plays. Oh dude, or or even like oddball. Like you have the ball, just yeah. th- throw the ball up in the air, and then I snatch it out of the air. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. It's been, like you could, you could literally snag the flag with with the grapple. Like that's. Dude. That's. It insane. sounds so the, the fun, man. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so then it's here we be have extremely frustrating or extremely fun, dude. <laughs> yeah, if you get if that get if that play gets done on you, I mean, oh yeah, you'd be pissed. Yeah, might be time to you know delete, uh, uninstall. Yeah. So here we have, and they had the name of this armor in uh, in the blog. I don't remember off the top of my head. Do you? Yeah, it is. You know I have it right. Y- yep. You know it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So uh, they actually talk in the blog post that you can actually unlock this badass armor right here by just playing uh in events or i'm guessing doing like challenges or whatever in the game and mm-hmm. i love that like it's sounding you know somewhat i'm sure there'll be differences but somewhat like mcc style challenges that are in there currently and i i'm all for that definitely like, oh god look okay look at the size of this plasma grenade right i don't here. get it dude that is a chunky boy that is a straight up like softball and then when yeah. he throws it it like instantly shrinks Whoop. and you have to remember a freaking like spartan's hands are huge like look how like the oddball looked really small like the skull looked really small compared to previous games and this plasma grenade looks huge I, I don't yeah. know, it's really wonky i don't know yeah so i wonder if this is the same map that we were in uh in earlier like where we had this the screenshot or if this is like a completely yeah. different map entirely a different area yeah, yeah. Looks like a like a, a water dam or like an electro dam of some sort, which I think is actually mm-hmm. the the theme of I'm that same sure. map. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say it kind of fits the theme of, yeah. of the uh, other half of that map. Cool. cool. All right. Good look at the side, the side arm redesign. Oof. Oosh. Looks so good. Oh yeah. And so the music was... playing in the background here is really good too, man. You hear like there's a faint Halo theme. I know, obviously, you guys can't hear it with the with the yeah. slow mo, but. It's pretty dope. Yeah, so... I love um, this animation of the sword oh. coming, man. Yeah, it got the, the combat evolved coming back. Con- yeah. Oh, yeah, I love the way it, it just whoosh, whoosh, this, appears. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then this swipe just fits the armor so well. Whew. So, uh, actually... <laughs> Yeah, so I was wondering, too, like, if, like, there's, like, different animations based on the armor that you that you have. Because, yeah, yeah, it looks or straight like up. We were saying earlier, like, with 
with the um with the grab hammer like if you're above somebody like maybe you're doing a swinging down motion or if you're uh, yeah. maybe sliding at somebody with the sword you're doing like an uppercut but if you're above them maybe you're lunging at them like they're maybe it's you know depending yeah, it's on a dynamic animation yeah yeah so actually one thing i forgot to mention here uh is if we actually let me back it up just a tad looking at this armor set here uh, he actually has a an actual like katana short blade on his stomach mm -hmm. like, that's Which so cool dope. so but Which yeah. leaves like you know just we know season one is going to be like here i think they called it heroes of reach is going to yep. be season one um you know maybe obviously the final final tier in the battle pass has to have something cool so maybe like a limited edition version art armor or a variant of this armor if you've unlocked it would be really cool there there's so many possibilities with with the battle pass i know people don't want to hear about battle passes but it's a free-to-play game it's good it's gonna have some mm -hmm. sort of monetization yeah um, oh, i'm just, just looking at this armor here too like it looks like he ha he almost had like his knee almost looks like it's made out of like like wicker basket or something mm -hmm. oh damn it looks good it, like it's it's aesthetically different from everybody else so you stand out like yo this guy's a badass he yeah. has this cool you know like i love stuff like that stuff you could really grind towards to kind of just to flex on people you got to flex on people online. yeah man all right well there you have it ladies and gentlemen the halo infinite multiplayer reveal uh in 0.25 speed hopefully we got everything uh thanks again to the patman gaming for coming along on the journey and looking at everything and giving us some more insight on things that we might have missed out on uh if you haven't done so which you probably have go check out patman on the youtubes the twitches and all that links will be in the description but uh yeah Appreciate Pat, thank you. you man thank you for having me yes sir hope to see you in a previous video of mine or a future video of mine i hate you <laughs> but until then i'm rapscallion and i'm out and i'm out <laughs> Oof. <laughs>